Because everything is temporary. Do you understand that? We get sick and our bodies decay day by day because everything is temporary. And there is only one thing that is permanent. And that is the Father's love for you. The only thing that will last forever. When I look at my life, I ask myself this question, why so many struggles? I was eight years old when I was molested as a child, 13 years old when a religious leader molested me. Why? Why go through the pain of being stripped by your, from your dignity and from your reputation and from, from your comfort and from your... Why? When I got married, we lost our child once. And then it happened again. Second time. And then it happened again a third time. You would think that God would treat me a little bit better than the neighbor who does not serve God, who did not say yes to him when he was 12 years old and he did not. You'd think that God would treat me with a little bit with a little bit more gentleness, with a little bit more finesse, with a little bit more protection. He did not. Three miscarriages. And then my father had an accident. And for 12 years, we could not talk to him. He could not talk to us. We could talk to him, but he could not communicate. He was never his old self. 12 years. And then my mom passed away. And then my sister, hit last, last year, she, cancer hit her. We all go through our calories. Raise your hand if you've gone through your calories in your life. Everybody say that again. Everything is temporary. If you come with a loved one, a family member, can you hold that person's hand? Even just for a few seconds while I talk to you. That relationship is temporary. I mean, no, 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 of course you're going to go to heaven and of course you're going to be together. But I want you to know there's going to be this abrupt change that will happen at the middle. You don't know when. Let me tell you the story of my friend. His name is Tim Grant. He was a missionary with me working with me, a leader with me in the light of Jesus, serving full on. Became our Anuim Center Director, serving the abandoned elderly for years. Do you know where he is now? He is in Anuim, but no longer as director, no longer as a leader, but as one of our patients. He has Alzheimer's. He's a patient. Thank God there's Anuim to take care of him. But do you know that they celebrated, he and Norma, his wife, celebrated 50 years together, but they could not celebrate. The family could not celebrate. The friends could not celebrate. Because they did not know each other. Alzheimer's. We asked Tim, Tim, how's Norma? Tim looks at me and says, who's Norma? Married for 50 years and they do not know each other. Do you understand what I'm saying? That everything is temporary? He does not even recognize me. He doesn't. I said, Tim, who am I? Everything 
is temporary. I say this to you now. Everybody say I'm listening. Life is about detaching. 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 Every day, every month, every year, it's about detaching. Are you listening to me? So that one day you can say, standing on your faith, that only God's love, only God's love will remain. And when you can say that to yourself, that Jesus is enough for me, then that is when you realize the truth of what life is all about. Only Jesus matters. 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 Let go. Everybody say, let go. God will purify you. God, God will allow Calvary to happen. Let go of all that is temporary and hold on to God, the only one that will last forever. In Jesus' name, say this prayer with me. If you can lift up your hands, feel free to do that and say, Jesus, I surrender my whole life to you. I surrender every part of me, my past. My present, my future, only you. I hold on because only you will last forever. Your love, permanent, eternal, everlasting in Jesus. Please be seated. Enjoy our Good Friday retreat.